There has been a long-standing policy on LSF. Do not have private communications with streamers. Get rid of that stupid f***ing Discord you guys have us in. Get rid of the dumb one-on-one -on -one private streamer. Shouldn't be able to make special requests to get sh taken down and to control whatever bullshit on a subreddit. That's bullshit. If they don't like something there, tell them to the DMCA or report it to the Reddit admins. I know, I know how many f***ing streamers and all the bullshit ass f***ing requests for as much as people. Also, hold on, by the way, excuse yeah. me. How long have you been, how long have you been a mod on LSF? So, so I have been a mod on the team for two full years. Two full years, hold on. In those two years, how many requests has Destiny made for something to be moderated on that subreddit? Hey, can you hear me all right? Hi, what's up? Doing all right, actually. Uh, more, more relaxed than I have been the last couple of days. We'll put it that way. How's, uh, I heard you're, uh, You've succeeded, comrade, in co-opting LSF. Thank you. The Dally Band <laughs> folks here. We're ready to ban all Destiny clips besides, or all clips besides my clips, right? That was stage two. <laughs> you know, uh, I know people might uh, think that, but that's not really my motivation or really ever kind of was. Um, uh, I mean, so, so how are we going to have this conversation? I'm going to give you kind of intro, kind of who I am. Uh, technically, I wrote out a bunch of stuff, but I don't want to like read off like a full document. But um, uh, what do you think? Um, I just had a couple ideas for things that I'd want to sure. see about LSF. Okay, and then I can give you some ideas. You can tell me, and then um, yeah, and then uh, you can read me what you have. I'm just curious. Okay. Uh sure. Yeah. So, uh, I yeah for no those who don't know me, um, I guess I'm tarot card uh, or scale two thousand uh, a former. Twitch staff on kind of clips. Uh, so uh, for those who aren't aware, uh, pretty much after I uh, uh, left Twitch, I was seeing, you know, I follow a lot of internet drama. I follow a lot of stuff in the, in kind of the space. So I kind of thought like, okay, what if I join like the LSF mod team to kind of like make things be better? Uh, and I guess at a high level, I guess we're talking about like the problem. So at, at a high level, I think that LSF has kind of gone downhill quite a lot lately it gets a lot less views it's not really uh having very diverse kind of content and there's always kind of like a toxicity issue that's kind of hard to deal with and my general goals is like what's like what are reasonable ways of kind of like kind of fixing that so that's that's kind of my, my okay yeah well let's let's start with the beginning okay what do you think yeah. <clears throat> do you give a first of all do you give a fuck about this subreddit is this like your child is this your project now <laughs> so, so uh there's a concept called post irony is what I'll say. Um, and that concept is, Hey, let's say you care about a thing, you have an opinion, and then you kind of go above and beyond in a very ridiculous and kind of like over the top manner to support that idea. And like, even though there's like kind of like a kernel of truth to it, that's kind of what I've been doing. Cause I know there's like a lot of logs out there. I had a, like a talk with somebody, but that's kind of what I'm been doing a little bit here. I guess so at a high level, you're like, yeah, I am trying to help a subreddit. Obviously, this is all, you know, there's a lot of internet janitor drama stuff, and it is kind of silly to be taking like a subreddit. Okay, hold like, on, wait, forget all that yeah. shit. Okay, for everybody else. Yeah. Okay, don't worry yeah. about it. Don't think about okay, what other people think. Sorry. No, no, you don't apologize. Don't can't, don't even think about what I think. Okay, listen, I'm just trying to ascertain because otherwise yeah. I won't waste my time. You're like, oh, I don't give a. F I just I'm ended up being the head mod here, and we'll see how long it lasts. And I'll be like, oh, okay, good luck. Um, okay, but do you? You do you do give a f about the subreddit. You genuinely want to improve it or see it change or, or 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 see it do better, right? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, I think it has a lot of influence, and I think there's cool things that can be done to kind of like make it better. Okay, what do you see LSF being a subreddit for? Do you have like a mission statement, first principles, like some kind of foundational idea of like this is the type of stuff in its at its best that I would like to see on LSF. If a person were to go there every day, like what would they be looking for? Do you have an idea of that? I do have an idea. Um, it's not one idea though. It's like four things put together. Sure, so, that's fine, yeah, um, what it, yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, so thing one is I think important kind of news in the streaming slash maybe kind of like gaming space. Mm -hmm. uh, it's kind of like the front page of like influencer news. I think that's kind of cool. Um, the second one is of course, you know, drama, everybody likes to talk about kind of the scandalous details. And the third thing is, we'll call it either gaming clips or like super unique, crazy content, like, uh, I don't know, like the Beatle AI character or that like, 
uh, you know, cardboard cowboy guy or like just like weird, crazy things. Right. So that, it's like those three or four things. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, I understand what you're saying. Uh, I, I don't know where you want to start. I, there are a couple things that I have in mind. We could do those first or we could run down your list and see if they come up or what do you want to do? Sure. I mean, I could just give you like three things, I guess, that I was trying to do kind of the last kind of like year or so is, uh, I don't know if people noticed, um, I did like some industry related uh, AMAs. I actually had a chat with like, you know, the CEO of Twitch. So I think cool stuff like that is cool. Um, I mean, I like the idea of how do you find like small mid-sized creators who are doing like cool new stuff to kind of like, give stuff to the, the public. I mean, really, I'm just like, trying to increase views, uh, content diversity, and a little bit less toxicity. That's like the highest level goal. Okay. Any uh, actual policies attached to that or? Uh, it's not bad. I'm, I'm sorry. Not, hold on. I didn't no, mean that sorry, dismissively. Yeah. It's not bad to have like a guiding thing. I'm just curious if you had any specific um, ideas or world changes or things that you were planning going forward or anything. My issue is that I have like a hundred different ideas and a lot of them are probably dumb <laughs> and not going to work out. And uh, I'm a little bit okay with experimenting, but it's mostly just this high level goal that I care about. How we get to that, it doesn't really matter. But I can talk about specifics if you want. I can just give you some specifics. Um... Or what are your thoughts on that? Um, hold on. Okay. I'm just writing down things. Um, let's see. Let's talk about a... Well, here, let's go over a recent thing that happened in particular. The E-Rob yep. stuff. How sure. You, so re yeah, go. Yes, yeah, so, so, so related to that. So mm -hmm. there has been a long-standing policy on LSF that anything to really do with, we'll call it relationship drama, whether it's shipping, mm -hmm. whether it's alleged cheating, whether it's like these kind of unconfirmed, unpublic kind of rumors, we don't really like the audience that really kind of comes with that kind of stuff. And so we we kind of like crack down on that a bit. You know, for the E-Rob stuff, uh, you know, that whole thing started because of allegations about his his marriage. Okay, or hold on. I'm going to interrupt you a lot just to yeah. get, Start, get no clarity on things. So when you said unconfirmed rumors and that type of drama, we don't want the audience that comes around that. Is that audience significantly different than the audience that would come around confirmed rumors or? Uh, it, it's, it is a little different. Um, it, it, it's more that um, confirmed stuff, I'll almost say is, we'll say it's like unstoppable. And, you know, now you've got like the normies involved. So there are people who are, very deep into these like rumor stuff who are almost making stuff up a lot of the times and it's hard to kind of like know if their stuff is true or not and then you got like real big major news that everybody's like kind of talking about and so it, it's the same but different okay um i can still man this i, I like what you're saying sounds stupid but it, it, it's actually true yeah. that if like uh there are there are like communities built around like there's a difference between a community that comes that's interested when a streamer is dating somebody else versus the community that ships people constantly or is always speculating about who's dating somebody else those are those are two very very different communities yeah um okay what do you think about in terms of the uh in terms of the uh, e rob stuff do you think that uh do you, do you like that how that was handled and would you do that the same stuff going forward or do you think something should be changed with that or you know it's there was the way that kind of happened is that there was like a fight in like the middle of the night mm -hmm. i got like a reddit notification you know at like 6 7 a.m and i was like what the fuck is this shit dude <laughs> and it looked like it was kind of bad toxic content um you know darius was involved he's sometimes in crazy stuff so it was more of like an impulsive decision when there was a lot of other mod drama going on a lot of we'll call these like optical concerns because you know a couple mods got kicked off the team they could be talking to reddit admins they could be saying like oh he's allowing all this rumors and drama and like her hate against the subreddit and people think that i'm like invulnerable here when when i'm not if the subreddit goes down significantly in quality reddit can and does take action on that and i think i was being like a little bit too safe maybe on that thing even though i think it's like it probably was important content to keep up yeah okay um do you have any other mods there that are interested in working with you or is it like just you right now? So I got like uh, two or three people uh, who I thought were pretty reasonable still from kind of the old mod team um, about like half the mod team got, got kicked for being super toxic. It's a very long story. 
And then I've recruited one or two other more mods that have kind of experience with like Reddit stuff. And I, although I have like a, not enough mods right now, so I'm like doing, I'm just trying to figure out how to do like mod recruitment. Yeah, so the answer is I've got a couple of not enough right now. Okay. Um, gotcha. Do you think the Moon Moon stuff is good? Like, is that stuff you would want on the subreddit or? Yeah, the, okay, so the, okay, the Moon Moon stuff is S tier content. I will say somebody put out like a big, you know, tweet or or document. It was kind of like the thing everybody in the entire kind of Twitch space was saying. Um, I think I did like end up removing it for like kind of about an hour while I was kind of like investigating in kind of the situation because sometimes it's like really hard to know if something's like true or not. But it ended up being kind of reproved like an hour later. Now it's like all of it. So it's great content. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Um <laughs> Okay. Okay. Here's two ideas. These are things that I would like to see on LSF. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, things that I would like to see change just as a random thing. Okay. We have no financial relationship. I have no direct control mm -hmm. over you. Okay. Um, well, I think you probably, yeah. Anyway, here's my two things and you can read me down your list or whatever. Okay. Um, for the first one, I think that every Friday, I think it should be uh, temporarily named Hassan Torture Chamber, and we should just <laughs> constantly post ch uh, that clip of Hassan saying he wants um, white women in rich colleges getting raped over and over again, because I think it would be f***ing epic. Um, <clears throat> no, I'm just kidding. Okay, here's the two things. Honestly, I, I think I think these would make the subreddit better. I really do. I think that it's important. I think it'd make for a better subreddit, okay? The first one is, um, I think that tr LSF was already doing this. Maybe you were. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. um, the first one uh, is... Um, anytime there's communication between the admins and the mods, I think that the mods should be very transparent about that, right? You should probably publish those or as much as you're allowed to, or, you know, be vocal about those types of communications from the admin team, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. The, we have had conversations. I mean, mm -hmm. a lot lately, but oh, I, we're actually in pretty good standing with the, with the admins because I, uh, you know, I, I try to talk to them a lot and I'm a very safe person. Mm -hmm. Um, so, I mean, it's not like we've never really been ordered to do anything. So you're, you're asking like, is there communications with the admins? And it's mm -hmm. like, well, not not really. I mean, I do talk to them, but it's not like them telling me what to do. I'm just asking them for sure. advice. Yeah, I'm just saying that if some kind yeah. of thing comes down or whatever, it's good to be um, transparent about that, number one. No. Um, uh, because if something comes out that you think, like let's say for instance, let's say that the mods, um, let's say that the mods DM you and they're like, hey, uh, we saw that there were a lot of fight clips being posted on the subreddit, we don't like that. And you're like, oh, okay. If you publish that right then and there, then the public sees it. Let's say in a month, more fight, oh, another fight happens at like some convention, yeah. and then you start banning them all. Um, then people are like, well, hey, listen, the admins already said this or whatever. Like we knew this was going to happen. If you ban them all, and then people write, and then you say, well, look at what the admins, you know, mailed us like a month ago. It hits a lot different. That's what I'm saying. So it's good for yeah. I'm not saying they've told you to do anything. That's okay. You're right. That's yeah. idea number one. Okay. Okay. That was an easy one though. Okay. Idea number mm -hmm. two. Okay. Ready? Yeah streamers they're the worst people in the world <laughs> streamers only have their own interests at heart okay do not have private communications with streamers get rid of that stupid fucking discord you guys have us in get rid of the dumb one-on-one -on -one private streamer shouldn't be able to make special requests to get shit taken down and to control whatever bullshit on a subreddit that's bullshit if they don't like something there tell them the DMCA it or report it to the reddit admins they shouldn't have special two-way whatever bullshit communication um with the uh, LSF, um, uh, the LSF um, Jannies, who am I thinking? Mods, sorry. With the LSF mods, okay? Uh, streamers should not have privileged communications. And number two, if streamers want to have those types of communications, or if they do send a message for something, maybe something, like, because there might be, uh, there might be cases where it's like, hey, this guy that's posting this clip, um, oh, fuck, I don't even know what it would be. Um, there, yeah, I mean, so I'll oh, give wait, you wait, some wait, wait, wait. Stop. Oh, sorry. I'm saying that when they happen, you should publish those. We should be able to see, like, oh, who, what did this guy request to get taken down? Or what did this guy request to get, uh, you know, whatever. Uh, yeah, maybe if it's like a legal thing or whatever, yeah. But that that should be, it should be published, okay? No more of this bullshit ass, okay? Because I know, I know, okay, I know how many f***ing streamers yeah. and all the bullshit ass f***ing requests for, for as much as people. Also, hold on, by the way, excuse yeah. me, how long have you been, how long have you been a mod on LSF? So, so I have been a mod on the team for two full years. Two full years. Uh, Hold on. Top, yeah. In those two years, how many requests has Destiny made for something to be moderated on that subreddit? Uh, not not a single time. Exactly. Yeah, not, not okay. Uh, I won't ask you to name other people and how many requests yeah. they've made. There have been people that have made quite a few requests on how to moderate that subreddit. True or false? 
That that is true. Yes. Okay. Just to be clear. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Just to be clear. But anyway, yeah, I would say no more streamer safe spaces where they can like beg you guys to take down shit or whatever. That's bullshit. That's cucked. I think, in my opinion. Go ahead. Give me your ideas on it. Yeah. Yeah. So so you do make a reasonable point. Um, I do say that you know maybe my moderation is a bit more safe than other people because I don't like uh, I guess misinformation being spread about people. And so, but oftentimes, honestly, people can bully me. So there have been times when streamers have kind of like bullied us. And honestly, I've probably just like given into it because they're, they're really mad. But I, I mean, I am trying to like prevent misinformation, which I don't think is good. I don't want people to be attacked. For, okay, like, hold on. When you say yet. misinformation, what do you mean by that? Sure. So there are ways of clipping a, a clip or changing a title uh, such that it implies something that's not okay. Clear. Okay, yeah. So here's this is what I okay because I was thinking like if a person says misinformation gets clipped, that's just them saying it. Yeah. I think you guys, I do think you had a good rule um, where it, when it came time to um, banning misleading stream titles when they're mm -hmm. done for malicious purposes, right? Like it can be funny if there's like a like if a clip is like you know. Um, Nim on five thousand year streak or whatever, and then mm -hmm. it's him opening a stream and him saying force or whatever, right? That's it's misleading yeah. for the title, but it's like, oh, okay, it's funny, right? But obviously, when it's like person that uh, you know, Hassan or Destiny fucking murdered this kid, and then it's like a news clip, it's like obviously, right? It's in bad faith or it's malicious. I think the banning those yeah. types of titles are fine. I think that's okay. I think no, I don't think anybody has a problem with stuff like that, um, as long as it's not done uh, selectively. Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, okay, wait, yeah. Oh, I don't, I, if you have private communications with streamers, it should be done on an LSF approved account for work and it should be published, I think. Because I, if a streamer is requesting something that truly needs to be taken down and it's truly whatever, then they sh those conversations should be allowed to be published, I think. Yeah, well, yeah, but now you're spreading the thing that, they're, I guess you could redact it, I guess, that, that, that could be a way of doing it. Or um, you could even just do a transparency report, like this is how many requests we got from yeah. XYZ streamers at the end of the month, I think it's fine. Yeah, 100 percento, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I do think that I agree with you because, you know, sometimes streamers, they are right on the, the doxing stuff that has happened a couple times mm -hmm. where they're right. But like other times it's like they, they are just trying to uh, it's not as much as people think. It's not like every single day people are telling us to take stuff down, uh, but it has happened for. Um, and, and then my other response is, you know, forget about the misinformation. I do think it would be cool to like involve major streamers and their audiences in something to do with, with LSF. I mean, these are people who are a big part of the, the thing, but I guess those things could be public. I don't even know what that would mean to involve a streamer, like, I don't know, advertise their event or... So I something know. I would be careful about is, so audiences maybe, because an audience yeah. might have an incentive to want a subreddit to do well. Streamers are, okay, fat f***ing over entitled losers that make millions of dollars every mm -hmm. year streaming content. No streamer gives a about LSF. None of them give a fuck about the subreddit. All they want is to use that subreddit to market their content. That's it. So don't ever take, don't ever have a streamer like event or take feedback from or whatever because the only thing a streamer wants is to make the subreddit better for him. That's it. Okay. Don't, don't, streamers suck. Okay. And they're the worst types of human beings ever. Okay. It's like child rapists, streamers, Nazis yeah. in that order, like worst people <laughs> on the planet. Okay. Um, don't, yeah, don't. So trying to like coordinate with streamers or do shit. Remember every streamer is only giving you feedback. Okay. Except for me, cause I'm perfect. But every other streamer is only giving you feedback just to make the subreddit better for them or their audience always. So be very, very, very careful. All right. Treat streamers like, you know, schizophrenic murderers who could kill you or backstab you at any moment. All right. Um, yeah, just be mindful of that. But audiences can be involved. That's fine. Um, okay. Hold on. One more rule suggestion. This is my yep. most controversial one, okay? <laughs> I implore you to try it for a week, okay? And it would be- Unbanned politics? It would make, politics it would make what? what? Are you gonna like say unbanned politics or what? Um, Maybe. Sorry, I, I interrupted you, go, go ahead. No, no, hold, that actually, hold on, I'll add that, because that would that is a good rule, you should unban politics, but hold on. Um, I would say that, um, listen, Trust me on this one, okay? You should have one week of banning all meta comments. No more meta comments. Nothing is more annoying when um than than when you open a thread and like the top most like top nested comments are like, oh, another one of these threads, or like, oh, what has LSF become? Or oh, look at all the dramas. Just if you don't like it, just downvote it and go the fuck away. It's so stupid when there's a when there's a 
post and it's got like 14,000 upvotes and 2,000 comments and like the top tree that's like 200 comments deep, it starts off with like, oh wow, I hate drama so much, why is he here? Well then why are you f***ing retards like voting it up and, and talking about it? Like just thumbs it down and, and move the fuck on. You should, be, for one week, you should try banning all meta comments. It's actually so cringe. It's so f***ing cringe. I, 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 I agree a million percent. It's, it hold on, wait, wait, let me be clear I, I mean, too. Dude, it's not yeah. just cringe. It, it, it makes the subreddit worse. If you yes. want, you can have like a weekly or a monthly poll if a bunch of people are saying like, oh, I want to, we should ban, uh, you know, like Hassan, Destiny, Post, or whatever the fuck. If you want to do like a monthly poll and then have people vote in that or whatever, I think that's fine. But once a policy is a policy, ban meta comments because God, meta comments are the death of every subreddit where you got to open a thread and it's like okay if if all these people didn't like it why the f are they commenting on it like just go away like just just vote it down and then leave yeah yeah so i will say i've been actually already doing that but i haven't been banning people and i haven't announced it so i have like a bunch of auto bad rules that when people complain about you know posts being deleted or, or whatever but like i probably should just ban people for that i said like hey well stop first doing you have to publish yeah. the rule yeah publish, yeah publish it for, yeah pub, yeah yeah mm -hmm. Yeah, but keep yeah, so that you can go through and see comments that are actually about the f***ing material rather than like, oh, guess whose audience is here? Or like, oh, another OTK thread. Oh, and yeah, just f those people, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Um, the politics ban is dumb, I think, but obviously that rule grossly favors me. Um, so I won't, uh, I won't push too hard on that one. Um, the only well, thing, the only thing I think that's genuinely, yeah. I can understand people not wanting. Uh, well, there's two, there's two good reasons to not have politics involved. Sometimes one is that it can genuinely make the subreddit a lot harder to moderate um, because those comments are the types of comments that can bring out like admins and shit in full force, depending on what the subject matter is. And two, um, sometimes people don't want to see the subreddit become overly political. I think, but I think the saddest thing about like I so I think that like, it's a subject matter ban. I think it's okay, but I do think it's sad. This is from a very personal perspective, by the way, uh, obviously because it's impacting me the most. But if there, it, but it it does, it can impact other streamers as well. I think I've seen Dylan and I think Hutch get hit by this too. It, it like sometimes funny f***ing moments happen in streams, and the idea that you can't have like an LSF clip of it because it involves politics, I think is like kind of stupid. I, I don't know. I don't know how much of my content you watch, but like when I was debating Gavin McKinnis and he like pissed in a cup under the table, like that's a funny clip. But the fact that you can't show that because it's politics i think that that is i think that is stupid so like if there's like a genuinely just like a funny moment if it happens to involve like a political thing i think that shooting those clips down i think is dumb um but otherwise yeah that's the only thing i'll yeah yeah the the one other compromise i've been thinking about the politics stuff is like what if there's like a very streamer important thing related to politics I, the examples that i'll give was the i, I to do both sides here i guess there was the aoc among us stuff and then on the other side we approved, I guess, like the Aiden Ross Trump stuff, mm -hmm. like both left and right, uh, as like a like a one off exception. But then sometimes people don't like exceptions, and so it's like, I don't know. It's very hard to do this thing where, where you know, in my personal opinion, if there's like some crazy cool thing, even if it's politically rated, you know, there's exceptional moments. But people always just like double thank you and say like, well, why did you allow this, but not this other thing? So I don't know. Sure. I think it should probably be things that are like appreciable outside of the political context, mm -hmm. right? Like if AOC is playing games with some streamer or whatever, like that's like a cool cultural moment. Or if, you know, an ex-president is on a stream with a streamer, that's like a cool cultural moment. You don't necessarily have to align or have a certain political disposition to understand that like, oh, that's kind of crazy yeah. or whatever, right? I think those are probably fine, yeah. But, yeah. but you don't want it yeah. to be, if you start allowing like tons of political clips, then the subreddit becomes like way more political and that gets really annoying, but yeah. For sure, yeah. What else? What do you got in your little doc? Um, the I mean, those were the the really the the big things. Um, I don't. I mean, do you have any other advice for me? Because I mean, clearly, I've been uh, you know, taking some taking some independent actions is is what I'll say on a lot of things. I mean, I would say as quickly as possible, uh, get the other mods on board with what you're doing to make like some kind of public statement because uh, transparency just feels better. People like to see that. Mm -hmm. um, having some type of forum where people can give feedback like it could literally be like a, a weekly thread where it's like, hey, like we're just seeing if we want to change the direction of the sub or do something different. Like here's a weekly thread, like post here with suggestions or ideas or whatever. Um, and maybe even doing like a poll or something on certain rules like, hey, should we change this or should we ban this or should we keep this or whatever? I think is good um, because it gets it lets the community feel involved, number one. And then number two, it gives transparency. So it doesn't seem like there's some weird behind the scenes coup going on or something. Um, I would say, uh, yeah, I would say that like those two things are going forward. And then as long as everybody's moving forward in like good faith, I think it's probably better um, than people yeah. feeling like weird shit is happening behind the scenes. Yeah. 
Yeah, you know, yeah, funny you should mention it. I actually already had, had thought about this transparency thing. I made a subreddit called LSF Meta or like R slash L. It's like private right now, but uh, I might open it eventually to like get it. Because, it, it, you know, I was talking about how I have like 100 different ideas or something. Most of them are dumb, but I would like feedback on that and like to get feedback from all sorts of users from all sorts of audiences. And so, mm -hmm. yeah. Also, I'm not sure if you've realized this yet. Um, or maybe even from Roger Mastering, you've realized this, or maybe as a mod, you've realized this. Mm. Um, people are very good at identifying when they don't feel good. They're very bad at identifying why they don't feel good. So, for instance, like people love drama, but anytime drama threads yeah. pop up, people will post and say how much they hate them, but that's not true, clearly. Uh, they, 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 yeah. do, they get more traction than anything else, right? So, it's good to solicit lots of feedback, but there is a skill that you have to develop in terms of figuring out like, well, what does the feedback actually mean? And one thing the feedback can mean, for instance, is um, when they say they don't like drama, sometimes what they mean is they don't come to LSF for drama, but when a particular dramatic event happens, there's 12 clips of it, which fucking like can obliterate the sub. So like mega threads might be a good solution to that. Or, you know, it's finding a way to contain, you know, like no more than two posts about a particular issue or something might be a good way of containing that, right? The people might be bad at identifying what's going on. I hate drama. No, it's not you hate drama. You just hate that when something pops off, there's like 15 threads on it, which is understandable. Um, but remember, like you have to keep in mind, okay, users are trash, okay? Always yes. remember users <laughs> are, are trash. They're meant to be picked up and sorted and you gotta do a ton of work to refine them into something worthwhile, okay? Users are dog yeah. shit. But um, the same people that will complain, this subreddit is trash, I hate drama, this subreddit is trash, I hate drama, they're scrolling the subreddit every fucking day, even though there's drama. If you get rid of all the stuff like the drama and do stuff like small streamers posting like kind of funny clips, and then your active user base is like 100 users, like all those people that were complaining, they just fucking left anyway. So fuck them, right? A lot of the people that complain about shit, if you make changes to appease them, they actually don't give a fuck anyway, and they'll just like peace the fuck out. So don't ever fuck those people, don't appeal or try to appease them. But that doesn't mean you ignore them. Just be aware mm -hmm. of like, well, why do I think they're being critical? What's going on? Is this something I need to change or not? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that, that does make sense. Mm -hmm. Also keep in mind too, mm -hmm. having a, depending on the event going on, having the, um, I'm trying to, I'm trying to underweight the, uh, too biased <laughs> towards me. Depending on the event going on, sometimes having things exploding is, Good. It's fun. It's awesome. It's there's a crazy thing happening. You want to see like new threads and stuff. Like I think mega threads can be good if it's like oh X Y Z cheated on A B C and it's like okay. And then let's say there's like seven clips saying the same thing. It's like okay, mega thread. Do we need every single clip? Probably not, right? But if there's like a you know like oh my god shooting at TwitchCon headquarters mm -hmm. and then there's like a, another thread like 35 minutes later like holy shit like E Rob and Darius with AK47 spotted outside and then there's another thread like 45 minutes later like mega threading it will destroy all of the traction of that and now you've got like one mega thread that's being like evolving like it's an evolving story with new shit being posted and then there's a bunch of other clips on the server that are getting no traction and people are like wait what the fuck because the mega thread has eaten all of it and killed all of your momentum on that so yeah be mindful of like the numbers and, and, and everything because yeah people will complain about it but like there'll be 15 mm -hmm. threads up with 300 comments each plus plus tons of upvotes and it's like okay they're complaining about it but the traffic is fucking huge and people are coming here to see what's going on and everybody wants to see what the next thing is so yeah just be aware of that yeah yeah, but I would say that, like, tamping down on the drama or is, like, almost, like, the point of the, of the meta threads. It's, like, oftentimes, whenever we do it... Um, well, hold on, careful. Like, okay. okay. Say, sorry, finish what you were saying. I sorry. Don't know, it, it was, like, I more meant, like, okay, let's say it's, like, the same thing, like, a week later. Like, yeah, that's cringe. People, people do got to move on. But don't, when you say things like clamping down on the drama, remember, yeah. it's LSF. You're not supposed to clamp down yeah, on yeah. the drama. You're just, you want to get rid of like garbage that's not driving traffic or at least or it's not driving good traffic to the subreddit, right? Yeah. 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 That makes sense. Um, okay. Anything else? Uh, yeah, not, not really, other than I have been enjoying uh, listening to you to anything else, <laughs> the podcast. So I will be listening to more of that stuff. Thanks. Thanks. Good job. Cool. Thank you. I love you. Be careful. Thanks. Bye.